Come on. <laughs> How are you? Good, thanks. Good. The thanks. diner started October 29, 1932. John Mostotska was the original owner. This room back here, I believe, was the original diner. And he was so successful with it, he ordered the other piece from New Jersey. And they brought it out and attached it and made this the kitchen. So I believe it's a Paramount Diner, and it was manufactured in New Jersey. Um, in the 30s and 40s, diners were becoming very popular, and they built them and then shipped them all over. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey still has a lot of diners. But it's a Northeast thing. It's very popular in the Northeast. Uh, my father bought the diner in 1961, and then in 1973 I bought it in April. So it, it's 40 years now that I've had it. And I'm hoping my son is going to take it over with his fiance and uh, it'll keep going in the family. In 1966, I used to still come in and I feel sorry for my father working up in the short order box by himself. And I thought, well, maybe I could come in and learn and help him. And that's how I eventually got into working here. And I started to come in nights because I had a job in a bank and then I would come in at night and help him on the grill and then I left the bank and started waitressing and you know doing everything that I could get involved in here. And then in 1973 he was going to sell the diner because he and his brother were about ready to retire and I thought how can you do that? My three sisters were working here. It's 40 years ago. I was 24 years old. And I felt like when I was cleaning the counter, you know, this, this little part of it here is mine. You know, this, this is mine. That's the way I did it in little bits and pieces. Eventually bought out my uncle and, you know, then took over more responsibility and then, you know, bought out my father. And Riverhead was extremely busy. It was a center where everybody came from the North Fork, the South Fork. Um, they came here to do the shopping. There were three grocery stores on Main Street. Um, there were three shoe stores, there were clothing stores, men's clothing, women's clothing, jewelry stores, everything was on Main Street and everybody came down here. And then on a Friday night when a lot of people went next door to Hill's supermarket, they would come in after their shopping and have dinner or, you know, go shopping. The stores were all busy till 9 o'clock at night. The, I, I was a waitress in 1987 when the theater closed. Dirty Dancing was the last movie they played there. On, on a Thursday night when the new movies came out, you know, people would come in to eat and stuff and we'd be busy all weekend because people would be going to the movies. There were two theaters here originally. The Capitol Theater was down where the Long Island Science Center is now and then the Suffolk Theater across the street, which opened a year after this diner had opened. They opened in 1933, December 1933. The, Th the Suffolk Theatre did, and the diner here opened October 29, 1932. So there was a lot to do when you came to Riverhead. It was, it was busy, it was thriving. And then, you know, as I got to work in the diner more and more, we got to know all the employees, the girls from Sweezy's would be coming in, and the guys from Carl and Bob's, and people from Murray Rose's store across the street, Rose Jewelers. Um, it was a community in itself with all the people that worked here. Sweezy's was a department store like Kohl's is now. And I used to be so jealous of the Sweezy girls because I always had to have a uniform on and they would come in with these really beautiful mm -hmm. clothes. And I thought, gee, I would love to work with the Sweezy's too. But this was, this was my job. And, uh, but it, it had everything like Kohl's, and it was a real hometown shop where the women knew you, or the men in the de men's department knew you. They had housewares, they had everything. If you ask anybody in Riverhead, they remember Sweezy's, and they miss it. The people, the customers, that's the most important thing. I sold it in 1999. The diner was very successful. The aquarium was just opening up and I thought I've got to find something else to do and I wanted to do something else. And I sold it and I moved down to Florida for two years and then I came back and worked for my cousins and then I worked for a friend of mine. And, um, but I missed the customers, I really miss the people. And now I'm back and I love seeing the people and the community has been really supportive and um, gonna make it, you know, good again. 
Um, this was the grand opening that was in the county review. It was dated October 27, 1932. Um, we cordially invite the public to the opening of our new Riverhead Grill on Saturday, October 29th. Good food, well served at attractive prices. Special table service with waitresses for our lady patrons. When diners started, they were just little um, horse and carriage things with, you know, trucks, and then they became a little bit more uh, modernized, but it was where the workmen would go and eat. And as they became more like buildings, workmen still continued to go there, but the diner owners realized that their afternoons were empty, their mornings were empty because the, the, the workers would come for breakfast or they would come at lunchtime or they would come at night for dinner and the rest of the day it was empty. So they put in tables for ladies to get women to eat in the diners. This is an original postcard of the diner um, and the logo was a good place to meet, the best place to eat. And this was built, this was taken before the McClellan's building was built next door. You can see the parking lot. Fenimore Meyer owned all this property on Main Street and he wanted to build a five and 10 cent store next door. And instead of leaving an alleyway or anything, he built right up against the diner. And the diner had to move its front door from over here to the front of the building. This is Lil. She started here in 1946 on her 29th birthday. Um, she thought the job wouldn't last, and she was here for 50 years. We had a party for her um, in 1996 at the Village Crossroads, which is no longer. And uh, she knew generations of families that would come in here. She knew people when they were little, and she knew them when they became grandparents already. And Lil passed away in um, 99. The menu? Yes, please. Sure. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't comb my hair yet. <laughs> That's okay. We're not fussy. Eat my dad. Oh. <laughs> Would you like coffees? Yes. Yes. yes.